Moving along with this project, even master certified VW technicians like myself, every once in a while just need a good kick in the rear or slap across the head. Because, uh, boy, did I miss the diagnose uh, the charging system. I had it all together. I've actually cranked uh, the 69 up with the key. Still had the generator light on. So uh, let me just walk you through what I did and what I should have done. So here's the generator that I had initially installed on my engine. Again, I'm trying to keep things as close to stock as possible. This uh, engine that's in here is, of course, a single port 69. I uh, believe it's a 1669. Um, and it ran perfect and everything I can tell um, it's the original engine to the car and it has about 82,000 on it of course if you watch some of my previous videos uh, the reason why this car was parked in 1983 was for an engine failure due to a screw getting dropped down uh, one of the cylinders and I've done a top end rebuild on it and I had this generator and Apollo parts. Um, and as you can see, I've taken it back off. I've already condemned it as being a bad part. And as I'm doing a conversion, which I'll show you here. So as you can see here, I uh, went through the task of pulling the generator back apart, pulling the fan shroud up, getting all that back apart because I ran all the tests on the generator like you're supposed to. You know, I powered the terminals, the generator was turning like a motor. Uh, as far as I could tell, everything was good. I swapped and put a new voltage regulator on, swapped back to the old voltage regulator, still had a red glowing generator light on. So I said, if I'm gonna buy parts, I might as well go ahead and upgrade to an alternator and just take uh, any chance of anything being wrong just out of the equation. So I just finished yesterday swapping to an alternator just to now go back and find that my DF, uh, this green wire right here, so you have the D plus, you have the DF, you have a ground wire back there. That's all the connections are still the same on a generator or an alternator. This green wire actually goes back to the voltage regulator, connects to one side, goes across the voltage regulator, turns blue, and actually goes all the way back to the generator light in the dash. And on generators, the generator light completes the circuit. The DF connection, that green wire, is actually the exciter wire for the generator then when you power it on, it lets it know to turn on and start charging. The D plus is your big uh, power feed wire going to the battery and powering up and, and recharging the battery. And of course the ground is a ground. I um, mean, it goes all the way back to the voltage regulator. Of course, when you upgrade to an alternator, you take all that out of the system and you're basically just connecting the, the blue and the green wire together. You're connecting all your red leads together. The ground's still there to be a ground. Uh, but it takes all the equations out of there. <clears throat> and I know better. Um, I'm a master technician. Electrical's my specialty. But uh, I didn't follow the diagnostic steps. I didn't go far enough. I didn't look at what I should have. I just jumped to conclusions and said, hey, my generator must be faulty, not charging, even though it looks beautiful. And I went ahead and condemned it and went through all this work for nothing. Let me show you what I found. But before I go up there and show you what I found, um, stick with me. I'm gonna probably in the future do a uh, video on this distributor setup. Some of you may know what this is. Some of you may not. I don't want to give it the secrets away because it appears this used to be a fairly common distributor that are now not as common. Uh, but I'll tell you this about it. It is a, uh, a VW part number on it. 
It is electronic ignition. It is uh, vacuum and uh, mechanical advance. So you get the best of both worlds. And uh, I'll leave it at that. I, I don't want to give away all the tips and tricks until I buy a shelf full of these things. Um, you may, if you know what it is, you know what I'm talking about. And uh, more, more to follow on that. So let me show you what, uh, what I found um, that was causing my charging problem. So I apologize for the iPhone video. It might be kind of shaky, blaming on me, being old, but I didn't want to break out the camera today. We're just gonna roll with the iPhone. But uh, red wire coming off the generator or alternator in this case. Voltage regulator, I've already swapped it to a new one. Still wasn't working, put the old one back on. Here's your ground wire, that brown wire coming off of the generator alternator. Here's uh, your red lead that goes to the fuse panel. Here's the red lead that goes to the battery. Um, this is the blue wire that was the cause of all my problems and how I missed this, just uh, poor diagnostics on my part. But this is your DF wire of course, it plugs into the regulator typically right there. With an alternator, you don't need it anymore. This blue wire goes to the light in the dash. It plugs in down here on a regulator, don't need it. These two will connect together on an alternator. Well, as I'm finishing my alternator conversion and coming back in here to uh, start attaching all these wires together, what do I find? And hopefully you can see this. The mice, have pretty much eaten up this wire and this wire was laying against uh, ground and of course grounding out making my my red uh, see I get a real good close up here making my uh, generator light glow in the dash so I'm gonna have to snip it off as far back as I can go into the harness there and put a connector on there so I can connect it to the green DF for my alternator. But this was my charging system problem, not the generator that I just walked through replacing. So again, let me stress to you, you know, here I am an experienced technician should have known better. And all I needed to do was the proper diagnosis. So uh, don't miss the obvious uh, don't jump to conclusions. I did just spend a bunch of money and time uh, replacing something I didn't need to replace. So, you know, it happens. But, of course, now I've got a better charging system than what I had initially. So, it's all good. Um, it's just, you know, again, cost and, and a lot of work that I didn't need to, uh, to go through. Hopefully, this helps somebody.